Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am Dr. Hannah D'Souza, a physiotherapist. In this video, I am going to explain every single thing you need to know about fat loss or weight loss. I had made a video like this three years ago explaining my weight loss journey, my personal weight loss journey and what I did. If you want, you can check that out. I've also explained calories in detail in that video. I have grown a lot since then, gained a lot of knowledge, especially because of med school. And I know now exactly and scientifically how you lose weight. I have incorporated all of that into my diet and my lifestyle and I have seen much better results. So you can obviously stick to this video if you want to. So backstory, I used to be about 80 kgs, I am now about 56 kgs, I've lost over 20 kgs of weight and I have maintained my weight so far and also built muscle. I have PCOS and asthma which also slowed down my weight loss journey but it is possible, it's not impossible for anyone. If I could do it, so can you. Now before we begin, let me tell you I put up a lot of fitness related content on my Instagram. I've left the details here and also a link in my bio and you can check it out. So let's begin. This is everything you need to know about fat loss. Number one, how much to eat, also known as calories. Now just like you measure your weight in kgs or pounds, you measure your height in feet, inches, etc. You measure your food in calories. Everyone requires a certain amount of calories for their daily living. This depends on your height, your weight, your activities of daily living and your metabolism. If you eat more than what's required of you, it's called a caloric surplus. You will gain weight. If you eat less than what's required of you, also known as caloric deficit, you will lose weight. If you need the same amount of what is required of you, you will maintain your weight, also known as caloric maintenance. But it isn't that simple. Now, I used to eat way less than what was required of my body. If I needed about 1,800 calories, when I was fat, I used to eat about 600 to 800 calories. What this did it, what this did is I kept putting on weight, I kept putting on more fat. Now this completely contradicts what I said what I said earlier. But let me explain. If you consistently go in an extreme caloric deficit, your body will think you're starving. It'll go into starvation mode. Your body is not going to know when you're going to give it food next. So it will store all the food that you put into it in the form of fat. Because fat is the easiest form of storage for your body. So even if you're going into a caloric deficit, you need to be in a deficit that is proportionate or sufficient for you. Do not go extreme. Now, a lot of these diets online that promise you 10 kgs, 15 kg, kg weight loss are fad diets. Yes, they will work for you, but in the short term, if you consistently follow these diets, you are going to store fat and that's a 100% guarantee. And these diets are based on a certain caloric intake. Now, that caloric intake may not be what your body requires. If that diet says you need 1,200 calories, wherein you actually need about 2,000 calories for your body, you are definitely in a crazy caloric deficit and that's going to hamper your progress. Also, you'll result in a lot of loose skin, so might as well just avoid these diets. Now, to calculate your calories, you can visit the link that I have mentioned. Put in your height, weight, your activities of daily living and how much you want to lose per week and it will tell you exactly or approximately how much calories you need. Now, again, this is an approximate measure. It depends on your body. Each website that you go to will have like an unnis bees ka fark. So, do not do not take it to the point okay you can always go a little more or little less now these calories even though i usually count it per day you need not count it per day if you are in a caloric deficit for the week you are still going to lose weight if you eat probably less for two days but throughout the rest of the week you're in a caloric surplus you're going to gain weight 
So more than sticking to it daily, stick to it weekly. And that's best for everybody because you can also have cheat days, which is what I do. I don't really have cheat days. I cheat whenever I want to, but I make sure that I am in my caloric range. Now, how do you track your calories? I use an app called MyFitnessPal. This is not sponsored. There are a lot more apps like this. I just find this convenient. So whatever I eat in a day, I just log my food into the app and it'll tell me how many calories I have eaten, how many calories I need to eat throughout the rest of the day. And that just helps me track my calories and stay on track consistently. Now, calories are not the only measure that you rely on when you lose fat. This is something I did not explain in my previous video and I wish I did. And that is what to eat. Now, your food is broken down into macronutrients known as carbohydrates, fats, and protein. Now, everybody requires to balance these macronutrients in order to stay fit and for regular functioning or non normal functioning of their body. You need about 45 to 65% of carbs. You need 10 to 35% of protein and 20 to 35% of fat. Again, this is a ratio because everybody is different. Now, our Indian diet, we focus a lot on carbohydrates. Our rice, roti, sabzi, even salad for that matter is carbs. We do not give a lot of importance to protein. Now, protein comes from milk, paneer, meat, eggs, etc. What happens when you eat carbs? Carbs are stored in your body in the form of glucose. This is also how sugar is stored in your body. So even if you're not eating a lot of sugar, but you are eating a lot of carbs, you might as well eat the sugar because your acid is going to do a lot of harm to your body. Now, normally what happens is you eat carbs, there's glucose in your blood, your blood then signals your pancreas saying send insulin. Insulin will take this glucose to your cells. Now why is it taking it to the cells? Because cells need energy and for this energy it needs glucose. So in regular people and normal people the cells will happily in, uh, welcome the glucose and will spend it in whatever energy requirements that you need. If you are insulin resistant Insulin resistance happens, again, when you eat excess amount of carbs. It is seen in lifestyle diseases such as PCOD, diabetes, type 2 diabetes, and a lot more. Now, these cells, if you are insulin resistant, will say no to this glucose. It's not going to welcome the glucose. So what happens is, this glucose is still roaming around in your blood. Your blood is still going to signal the pancreas saying send more insulin. Now you have so much insulin and this cycle goes on and on and on. Also, the cells don't have glucose for their energy. So they're going to send signals to your body saying, eat, you're not eating, in spite of you having eaten so much. Now this leads to overeating. And these signals, these cravings are especially for carbs and sugar because your body, your cells need glucose. So I know it's complicated, but... This is the best that I could explain it. So please, please, please make sure you're not eating a lot of carbs in your diet. Stick to the proportions. Don't eat excess amount of carbs. Secondly, protein. Now, protein is extremely important for muscle building. You need, as I said, about 10 to 35% of protein in your diet. On an average, whatever your body weight is, make sure you at least have that much protein. So if I'm 56 kgs, I will make sure I have at least 56 grams of protein per day. Protein is needed for muscle building. The more muscle you build, the more fat you're going to lose eventually. Also, if you're not eating enough protein, I did not eat a lot of protein back then. I lost weight, but I was still very flabby. I had a lot of fat in spite of losing weight, which is again not good. You develop loose skin, stretch marks, etc. And I wish, I really wish I had a lot, I had enough protein back then. Right now, I eat enough protein. I also supplement myself with protein powder. Yes, protein powder is not bad for you. If you cannot meet your protein intake for the day, make sure you supplement yourself with proteins of uh, protein powder especially vegetarians now i use plant protein by fast enough you can use whey i personally don't use whey but it is not bad for you you can use my code and you will also get a discount on 
any of the fast enough products. Number three, fat. I know this is a long video, <laughs> but fats are also necessary for your body. Fats are again divided into saturated, unsaturated. Now that's a completely different story, but do not ignore your fats, especially your oil, ghee, butter. Eat your fats. You, they're not they're not the enemy they're not going to harm your body so basically overall stick to these proportions and you will be good to go now how do you know what exactly your body needs again what i do is on my fitness pal after i've logged in i click on this icon which will tell me my macronutrients for the day it will tell me how much i have eaten how much protein i've eaten how much protein is left how much carbs i've eaten how much carbs is left and a lot more the micronutrients as well which you do not really need to know for the moment so what i like to do is i plan my food in advance because if on the day while i'm eating if i track and i know that i still need to eat a lot more protein i can't go cooking around at the last moment so hence i always plan my meals beforehand number three calories out how do the calories go out of your body as i explained before for whatever you're doing your your body needs to burn the calories for the energy required your body needs to burn these calories now while you breathe talk sleep whatever you do you're burning calories but to burn those extra calories you need to work out especially if you're trying to tone your body i did this big mistake i did not work out enough and i did not do the right kind of workouts hence even though i lost a lot of uh, weight i am still flabby now i work out a lot i also put up home fitness related uh, videos on my instagram you can check it out if you're interested so mainly you just need to move you don't need to really go to the gym do whatever you love dance go for a trek play a sport whatever but move make sure you expand you expend these calories so if you eat if your calories in that's your food is equal to the calories out you maintain your weight if your calories in is more than your calories out obviously you gain weight if calories in is less than the calories out you lose weight it is that simple so make sure you follow all of these steps if you need to lose fat properly and maintain the fat that you have lost consistently it's been 3 years i have been following this right now i'm maintaining my weight i have been put on weight except for a little muscle weight that i wanted to put on because i have been working out but do not again do not do not follow all these fad diets now just like if you're sick you would go to a doctor if you really need help make sure you go to a nutritionist i have linked dr umesh wadwani's account in the description below now i have attended his course so i know him personally uh, and he teaches you basically how to be your own nutritionist he will teach you how to make your own diet plans which i found was really helpful so check him out if you need to the details will be in the description below and i hope i was able to explain as simply as possible i know it's a long video but i hope i was able to explain how you need to lose weight and i guarantee you i guarantee you if you follow these steps you will lose weight 100% now if you have any doubts make sure you put them in the comments down below and i will try my best to answer them for you you can also if you're shy to leave your doubts down here you can dm me on instagram but that will take some time for me to reply because it goes into my message request now i really hope this video was helpful and if you are trying to lose fat all the best to you it's not impossible and i know you can do it also please make sure you like and subscribe to my channel all of these videos take a lot of time to make <laughs> next time i'm going to make a video on pcod so make sure you check that out especially if you're someone uh, who's suffering from pcod or you know someone who's suffering from pcod i will see you in that video until then bye bye